what y'all about, what y'all about to see today. Is the top get done? Like I say, this is maintenance. It's actually a special procedure you have to do to get this top the color of this car. Today you will get a chance to see that. For convertibles, they don't actually make tops the color of the crazy colors that we sometimes get on the car. And my object and goal is to make my convertible look like a hard top. So if I could get the paint to be exactly, well, I mean the top to be exactly how the paint is, then that's a plus. And a lot of people can't do that. So that's why you see some dudes' cars with these crazy color tops in combination. It's because they can't get the top the same color of the car. We're gonna walk y'all through this. First step is prepping the car. And that's what we're doing right now. So the procedure that's about to get done today is the top is about to get dyed. Just like when you paint a car, you're about to do that to the top. So as you see, we're covering up all the chrome. So we don't get overspray on it. It's a chrome rack. Very expensive. Most of the time, if it ain't chrome, it can look like that. Black. Original. There ain't nothing on here. The same or that simple. So the original color of this top is a very bright yellow. Of course, you know, I call this baby pineapple. So it is also a color that is discontinued, meaning they don't make that color no more. So that's another step and hard and a part of this Chevy game. But since we're doing custom work, we're going to custom make, but they don't sell. So it has been done before. It wasn't on the car when it got done. Today, since we're not exactly changing out the whole top again, it's gonna be done on the car. So, we gotta make that happen like that. It saves you time, for sure. Instead of taking all this apart, taking it off uh, to redo it. I think he gonna adjust the windows today too. You know, like I said, it's all maintenance, really. You got these cars, these projects, it's never done. It's always something you could do. And if you want to be a perfectionist, we always trying to get it to perfection. So in a few, you'll be seeing him go to work. <clears throat> so right now, <clears throat> he adjusting. Oh, I can't, I'm trying to get in there, see if I can get in there for y'all. He's adjusting cables on the top <clears throat> and tightening up stuff so the top can work properly. So today, the maintenance that we are doing today, I'm gonna tighten up the top, make sure it's nice and top. It's still loose right now, it's not hooked down because he's prepping and getting it ready. Get this all nice and tight. <clears throat> Get these marks out of it. I mean, when you're letting the top down and stuff like that, the scuffs. So, we're going to get all that out today. Uh, just walking y'all through. And then y'all see a lot of this. This really right here is the light stuff. I mean, I wish I could make it be in there for you to see what he's doing. But I don't think y'all going to have a new job and doing top, so... <laughs> Get all this tight, all that. You know, this is an old vehicle. 
this top. We're 50 years old. So you gotta do things. Things come loose, tighten, adjust, play with. Right now he's adjusting and tightening things with the top. You know this car is 50 years old, so everything is not gonna move and work exactly how it might have did 50 years ago. So now he gotta go through and make sure everything is tightened, adjust. We're gonna get a lot of these scuffs out. I mean, see those scuffs? So that's the part I'm ready for the cool part, which is dying the top. Hey, right here. So right now what he's doing is taking all the staples out the front of the top because in order to tighten the top, he's gonna to have to pull it forward. So, kind of loosen it. Adjust it and pull forward and tighten. That's what he is preparing to do right now. And I know y'all just get to see the pretty cars, us riding around. But when you have a certain amount of certain individuals, the elite, and like I say, this car right here, this car been like this since 2007. I kind of lose count about 15 years now or whatever and like I said I went away for 10 this is just dirt don't worry about that that's just all that is the car's dusty right now we'll get that cleaned up later but this right here I'm like always on top with it whenever something wrong or whenever something needs to be done I don't like to wait too long, I like to get on it. And like I say, I'm kind of a perfectionist. And I also love my car. So today, I'm taking all this off. I'm gonna clean all this up. As you can see, I swiped the original color, which is this bright color. So this is dirty, scuffed up. You'll soon be seeing the finished product. Okay, right now, the car is getting covered up so we don't get any overspray on it. The beauty, the process is about to begin. So we have this bag. I don't know, I'm not gonna call it a bag, but it's like a, uh, like a big garbage bag. So what he's gonna do is cover up the whole car and then he's gonna cut all the part that is gonna be getting dyed or the new work that's gonna be getting done to the car. <laughs> so, when you get to that stage, I'm gonna show you that. I hope you guys can hear me and then telling me about volume. It's pretty quiet in here. I don't wanna to do too much yelling or screaming. Let me know, like, subscribe and comment. Let me know what you wanna see more of. So I want to like to bring you guys the raw footage. I don't want to just let you guys just see it when it's done. I want you guys to see what the process is of what we go through and how we keep up the cars looking nice. So just let me know. I pretty much try to get, read, and see all comments. So let me know am I doing a good job. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. Like I said, we'll have a lot of behind the scenes. This is raw footage, no editing. You know, I'm new to this. I'm just giving to you just how I'm recording. So one of the processes he just did, which I'm sorry, I was actually running my mouth, I didn't get it, was scuff the top. And scuffing is uh, so that the fabric will take the paint and it locks in. Sorry about that. I'll make sure I get him, you know, being a paint man.
I mean, this is nice. This is nice. Como le gusta estar en la televisión. Ahí está el Ahí está el Coming along very nice. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Soon I'll be getting me a cameraman and getting this footage and light for you guys a lot better. See if I get y'all a different angle. This car look different. In each angle, man. I got a man himself. I've been knowing that guy about 25 years, man. He been doing my tops interior since I was in high school. Started messing around with these cars. That's nice. This is what we call maintenance, man. I can see them scuff marks and those going away. See how tight the top gun got. It's a weather script that goes across here. I put that back. I love being hands on. You want to say something? You want to show him a little footage of the 7 1? This is one of my buddies right here, man. he been in the game. His dad gave him this car when he was just 11 years old, man. So you, you can see him as a grown man, how long he had it, man. This is a 7 1, 1971. You see the big, big way brakes. Bear brakes. You got a pearl paint. I mean, this this color is this color is awesome. Like, it's just not something you just wake up and see every day. But see, this beast here is going on the track, so he gonna put two hundred thousand in it, maybe even three, and put it on the track to race. You want? That's crazy. Candy on chrome, this same car, man. I had a 73. We raced. Man, look at the paint, man. This is a sneak peek. Oh, look at the, uh, 1971. Let me talk a little shit. Look at the firewall. I don't get to show that much because of the motor. Bro. We can't show it. The motor's cover up, and we don't want to get too much on it, but I want y'all to see the firewall in here. Look at man. One thing about this build right here, I'm going to bring it to y'all. And we're going to get some footage on it, let him talk a little bit more. I mean, this was an unexpected surprise today. But let me know if y'all want to see more of this build. Alex 71. Hard body ace. From the box. As y'all can see, the finished product in the sun. This car is loud and I don't have on no earpiece or nothing. Flakes, the top, just like in the paint. Man, I think a phone call messed up the video crazy. And I had a really nice video. I had to come back to this and start this over, but I want y'all to see this paint. It's 1971. It's a $300,000 race car is he putting this baby here on the track this young man right here i've known him since he was a, a youngster oh 
I known him since he was a youngster. His dad gave him this car. How old you was when your dad gave you this? Yeah, we built this car together. I was 11 years old. He was 11 car. years old, man. So y'all already know this one ain't going nowhere right here. Yeah, I'm 31. Straight out the bottom, man. Miami, Florida. This history yeah, in the making. Doing this. Rolling together, doing shit together. Martin Luther King. It's over 20 years right here, man. Look at this. Racing man. back and forth. Don't you ain't gonna mind. see too many like this, man. You is not gonna see too many like this, man. You see that picture? That's him himself, man. Look just like him. Man, this is gonna be a nice build. I'm gonna get some behind the scene footage. You know what I'm saying? It's not finished right now, so he's working on it. You can see brakes and all the detail, man. Just the paint. Very nice, unique. So y'all just let me know, man. We didn't race. I actually raced this car. You might could see the footage on Candy on Chrome. I think it was back in like 06 or 05. I had a 73 then. Oh, he's finished. He's already taking it, putting it back together. <laughs> so in other words, he's ready to get his money. <laughs> I'm gonna come back, bring it in the sun. Let y'all see how it look. This is what you gotta keep up with, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a before picture. This is what you gotta keep up with, man. When we love these cars, the things that we go through to build them. See that? 